Alrighty ho my friends. Welcome to the Ladybug Journals and welcome to my craft room today. Today we're going to continue making some ephemera for our two journals that we've created. And this ephemera is going to be for the Little Green Journal. So I'm so excited to show you. And um, you know, I know I saw this somewhere and I can't for the life of me remember where. And um, but I also know I've created it in the past and for the life of me, I can't remember when. <laughs> so, you know, it's just been one of those days when your mind just goes. <laughs> so this is what we're going to make today. So to create this, you're going to need an envelope, um, you know, with a, with a big window. But if you don't have one that has a big window, then you can use one with a window about this size. Uh, you're going to need some decorative paper, and I'm using uh, this paper today for mine. And um, you're going to need your scissors, you're going to need your bone folder, you're going to need some glue. Uh, it can be wet glue, it can be your favorite glue stick. Um, I might, I might use uh, my favorite washi tape. I'm going to use uh, my favorite ink, which is vintage folder, of course my dauber. And, um, and my circle punch. So that is about it, you know, other than your time. So uh, let's get started and I will show you how we're going to create this. Okay, so the first thing that I did was um, I opened up the envelope. And this little envelope, it has a pocket up here. There's a pocket up here. There's a pocket right here, and there is a pocket back here. So this little fold has three pockets. Now, what you need to do is, let me grab the little green journal here, is on these pages, when you fold these, you need to try, you know, if you're gonna put it on a page, so let's find a page in the little green journal. Um, it has to fit on your page, okay? So my envelope right now is too big for my page, okay? So even if I use this one, it's way too big for my page, okay? So I need to scoot it down, and when I make this fold at the bottom, I can fold it up, and it's okay if I cover that window a little bit, that's okay because it needs to fit on my page and I want to center it on my page like this. So I want to center it. So when I fold this up at the bottom, I want this envelope centered on my page, just like that. Okay. And when I fold my others, they're going to be folded at the same size. All right, so my envelopes are, I think they're about nine and a half inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're nine and a half inches tall and they are four inches wide. Okay, and that's, I think that's the same for all of them. So this one's four inches. Now this one here is just nine inches, but they're all going to get the same fold. Okay, so I'm folding it up one, two, two and three quarters inches. This fold right here is two and three quarter inches. So my fold on all three of them is the same. So you don't have to measure it if you don't want to. And sometimes I don't, I just automatically fold it that way. It just, that's just what happens. Okay. So there, my envelopes are folded. <laughs> you can tell I have glue all over my mat. Okay. So we're going to do this one first. This is the one we're going to do today. I mean, so your envelope is open on the side. Okay. And mine has, mine was torn when it was open. So I don't want to take the flap off the back. Um, 
but I do want to line the inside. Now, if your envelope has, you know, one of the your envelopes has the really cool pattern on the inside, and unless you really like that really cool pattern on the inside, then if you do, don't line it. If you don't, like, I don't want to just see plain white on this one. So I'm going to line the inside of mine with this mushroom. At least I think that's what it is. But I need to trim off the top. So I need to trim the top of this so that it fits inside my envelope. So... And I need to trim the sides. Okay. And I want it to sit like that. That's how I want it to sit. Okay. So that means I have to trim this side here too. So here, so I need to trim it right about there, which means I'm going to end up cutting off that little chubby one. I'm going to end up cutting off part of him, but that's all right. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see it anyhow because it's under, under the flap. Oh, I didn't cut it off, but I am going to cut off this bottom piece. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I want it to sit just like that. Okay? So now I can go on and put it inside. And I'm going to use my glue stick to put it down. Because I don't think it matters what kind of glue you use when you're trying to do this. It just makes a mess. It just makes a mess. All right, let's open this up. But at least with a glue stick, I have, I can maneuver it around a little bit. Right there's where I want it. All right, right there. Okay, so right there's where I want it. And it's nice and flat. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Okay, so now this, I think I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter because I don't wanna cover up my little baby mushrooms. But I need to make sure it's still going to fit on my page. Now what? Oh, I had that glued, so I need to take these off of there. Alright, so let's go back here and find just any page since it really doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, it's still going to fit. Okay. Okay, so that's still going to fit there. Good. Alrighty, so and I think I want a side tuck on this one. I want that open and I want that. So for this, I want to take where's my scissors? Right here. I want to trim that because I want to leave this open right here but I'm going to glue this part shut because I want this open 
All right, so let's glue down to our fold. Okay, so right here, yeah. So from our fold up, we're gonna glue. We're gonna flip this over. Okay, so this is gonna get collaged, so that's okay. Okay, I need to take this bloop off of here so I can get glue out. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now the collage on it is going to be with this page. See, it fits right there. So now I need to make everything fit. And I think what I want to do is, since these were all mushrooms, I wanted them to fit on here. So, now where'd my pencil go? There it is, right there. Okay. So I wanna make sure I want this strip of mushrooms I don't think that'll work, though, will it? Will that go across there? Oh, chooka chooka choo. How far down does that strip of mushrooms go? All right, what about that strip of mushrooms down here? How far does that go? Chooka chooka choo. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm marking where I need to cut and I can f I'm feeling where the envelope is underneath the paper. There we go. So I know that this will fit there. Right there it is. Right there. And I'm wondering, because that cuts those flowers right off. So I'm wondering if I can scoot this down to get flowers on it if it still fits. I think it does. Okay, I think it does. So let's right under the brown right under there for the bottom. Oh, that's better. Okay, so across here, we're gonna put the flowers like that. Just like that. And then across the top, We're going to put this. Okay, but before we do anything, we need to ink it. And you know what? I think I'm going to use this. Because it's more, the, I'm using the brush corduroy because it's more of the color of the mushrooms. It's not one of my favorite colors but it matches the color of the mushrooms a little bit better. It's 
got kind of a yellowish brown color. It does kind of match um, mushroom manure really well. No, isn't that a funny term for um, mushroom dirt or mushroom soil, mushroom manure? <laughs> I always thought that was the weirdest, weirdest term was mushroom manure. Okay. Now, let's get this cut because I think I want this. Here, before we do that, I want to put... I want this to go across the top. And I want... Where's my ink book? Here it is. Let's use this because I want this right across the top here like that. And I think I'm going to end up tearing it since the top is torn. I think I'm going to end up tearing this page because I really like that look with this, with the mushrooms kind of dirty and you know, you know, you guys know me. Yeah, just like that. So I think we're going to tear this down. But you know what? I think we need to glue it first, don't we? So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm not using glue stick because I need it to stick rather quickly. So I can do the tearing. All right. Right there. Right there. Okay. Now, it looks like I moved it again, but... And I just covered up the window. Well, Lori, that wasn't smart, you goofy girl. So now I gotta get it out of the window. All right, let's lift this up real quick. Okay. All right, let's get the knife. You guys knew I was going to do that, didn't you? Okay, so we're going to cut right up here. We're going to just tear... Right along the window. Okay, let me take my jacket off. the top of the window. Right there. I don't want to tear it too far. Yeah, because if I tear it too far, I can always tear off a little more, but I can't... I can't put it back. Okay, now let's glue this side back down. All right, and then we'll, we'll ink the inside too. Let's put the, let's put that on there. Now, you know my trick for the windows, for using a, um, a baby wipe and a napkin on the windows. There we go. Let's go across the top. And now we're going to hit it with some vintage photo to darken it up a little bit. Make it look like dirt. There we go. And we're going to do the same down here. Because once I get this... 
And then we're going to tear at the bottom, too. We're going to tear that piece at the bottom. Okay. We got dirt. We got mushrooms. We got a mess. Okay. Now, where'd the flowers go? There they are. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay. All right, so let's tear. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I wanted to tear it. All right, let's tear across here. Let's tear across here. Okay. Right in there. Okay. Okay, we need it torn edge down here. Alrighty, we're almost done with this. Now let's scoot that in there a little bit. Okay, now we're going to tear, where'd the bottom go? Where's the bottom? There it is. Let's go across the bottom. Oh, I love a nice torn edge. Look at that. Okay. Come here. Okay. Let's get this. Let's get our paper nice and dirty. Oh, yes. I love it. Love it. Love it. My friend Kim, when I do this, I make her crazy. When I do this, I make her crazy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have our pocket there, and we're going to have a pocket up there. So we're going to have to remember to do our, our tab punches before we glue those down. Okay. So, let's make sure we center this. Oh, you guys, I love it. Yeah, I think our new... Our new dirt color is going to have to include include the um, the brush corduroy. Yeah, that's going to be fabulous. Okay, so there we go. Oh, we got to take this off the side here. Yeah, we didn't do that yet. Oops, looks like I didn't get glued there on the corner. Okay, did I miss some, whoops, I did. I missed some glue right here on the corner. There we go. Okay, so now, let's see, we were gonna have a pocket. We were gonna have a pocket here. So let's, let's put our punch in. Uh oh. Oh, darn. I was afraid that was going to happen. I was afraid. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I got it. All right, so let's, let's get inked in there. And then we wanted a pocket. Let's see, we wanted a pocket back here. And we wanted a pocket inside, right? Isn't that what we wanted? So I'm thinking, see, how are we going to be able to punch two different spots here?
Okay. Okay, there's that, but we need to cut this open. So I'm just cutting across the top. There we go. Now, before we glue anything, Okay, so we wanted a pocket here and a pocket back there. So because our thing got stuck, we're gonna tear that one. There we go. So now our pocket's back there. Now we got a pocket up here and we have a pocket there. So that works for there. Let's Ink back here. Okay, back there, up here, back there. Okay, so let's glue. Now, let's make sure we glue right. Glue here. Okay, so we've got that one. Uh, let's see, we got to glue this. Okay. And this piece right here. Right there. Okay. So squish that down. Okay, so now we have, we have our pocket back here. We have our pocket in here, and we have our side pocket here. There we go. All right, now we need to let this dry before we actually put anything in it, or it's all going to stick together. So I'm going to put some paper clips on here. Because this part's kind of thick, I'm going to put this little clamp on it. I'm going to put a paper clip up here. Let me get another little clamp here for the side. Come on, cooperate with me. For here. And let's see, that side's not glued there, so we're good. Okay. To help that stay glued. Let's put that in there. All right, so now, okay, so we've got that made. So, there it is. Now, if you, if you don't want a tag or anything to come, oops, we forgot to, we didn't cut that out, did we? Now, apparently, I don't want a tag out of this one. I just want that to stay. So if you want a tag to come out of the top, you would cut across the top there, right across the top. And that opens it up for a tag. But I have three pockets down here. And honestly, I don't think I want a tag on this one. On my other one that I made that I showed you, this one, I have space that I can put a tag if I, if I choose to. But I don't think I want to on this one. But I do want all my little pockets down here. And I will have a little tag come out down here. And I'm thinking it's going to be made with this. So how I'm going to make it from this is I'm going to take a piece of... Okay, let me find it here. Okay, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to glue it now because you can see right through there. Let me get a piece of my right here. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Right here. Oh my goodness. How about this? Okay. I just want to glue it to this. Okay, uh, here it is. Now, it's going to have to dry. 
Uh, it's going to have to dry overnight. But I have a couple of other things that I need to glue down also. So I'm going to put them on there too. And I will show you how I create. Gosh, you guys are getting another bonus on another bonus video. How I create... All right, so this is going to be the tag for that one. Let's turn this around here because I'm going to have to trim it, and I don't want it to be wampum doodled. Okay, so that's going to have to dry before, before I trim it. Now, I also have other bits and pieces here from other little things that I've trimmed off, and I want to use those as like little journaling cards um, and just little pieces of ephemera. So I am going to glue these down also. And that way when I'm ready to trim and all the glue is dry, they're already done. So when you have cardstock or paper like this that has pattern on it and you have pieces left, you can create um, you know, little journaling cards and things like that. Even this one, um, you know, it doesn't have a lot on it, but I would use it. I would use it just as a little journaling card or just something to stick in a little pocket. Okay. Now I also, I also cut out pictures from, um, photo books. I mean, not photo books, but heavens like this. And um, you guys have seen me do this before. Uh, flower flower books. Um, oh, that's a pretty picture, isn't it? It's called Blue Lettuce. And this is chicory. And what's over here? Blue-eyed grass. I think I like the chicory. It looks just the same, doesn't it? And that's flax. Yeah, it's hard to pick sometimes, you know, which side to glue down. But for, I have flower books, and, um, you know, we'll use a page to make something, and then I have these little pictures left, and um, I'll just cut the pictures out and stick them down, and then I cut the pictures out. Let's see, will that fit there? No. Will that fit there? No. How about up here? Um... Um, a little bit. I'll have to trim off the edge. But I also have other little pieces like this, you know, off of pieces of paper. That instead of leaving them as pieces of paper, I glue them down to my cardstock. There we go. There. So once these dry uh, later today, I can cut them out and I will use them in our journal. Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining me today here at the Ladybug Journals. I appreciate it. As always, I appreciate it. So this is what we created today. And once our tag dries, we'll be able to cut it out. And I'll just cut it out with my scissors and I'll create a tag shape and it will go in our pocket here. And then some of the other ephemera that we have will fill it up. And uh, when we're ready to fill our journal, our little green journal, it will be all ready to go. And I'm sure this is probably stuck down by now. Uh, we'll be ready to start putting some of our ephemera that we've been making into our little green journal. And we'll have lots of fun just being able to hop page by page and um, just filling it up. And it will go so much quicker than having to stop and work and stop and work. Um, I really enjoy doing that because I like uh, creating ahead of time and then just being able to pop into the journal and creating. Now, sometimes I get inspired by other creators and other creators... Um, always inspire me sometimes, you know, at night, um, 
before we go to bed. Um, that's kind of what my husband and I do. We turn off the TV probably about nine o'clock and um, the two of us just sit and we don't even talk. You know, we've, we've had it with talking and we're just done because that's all we've done all day long is talk. And um, so we quietly sit and I put on headphones and I listen to music or or I listen to other creators and it's nice and quiet in the house. And um, when I get inspired, I jot down a little note. And um, before you know it, I've got a notebook full of ideas and um, and then I bring my my version of my ideas to you guys. So I'm so glad you joined me today and I certainly hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and that you've had a great time and that you come back and see me again here at the Ladybug Journals um, and that you're crafting along and creating all kinds of funny ephemera to go in our journals. So if you had a good time, you know where that thumbs up is and you know how to subscribe to the channel. So until I see you again, Ta-ta for now.